Hello, everyone. My name is Big Hero 60. I'm currently live on Twitch, and we're going to be talking about Fungal Folly. So we're doing it live. This is one of the delves that we have access to in the current alpha build. You may have seen my other delve videos that I posted. I posted like a first look video, which was the Kobold delve. And then I also have the delve with the Nerubian spiders. This one is the third one, Fungal Folly. Now I managed over everything uh, like before. And in case if you don't know, this is the first time you're seeing this, we have three tiers unlocked. I was told it goes up to tier 11 in a Q&A with the content creators. Uh, we had a Q&A with a few of the devs uh, over, I think like two days ago now. And this is the objective. So there's a group of earthen miners in here. They've been captured by Fungarians, which are those mushroom dudes. And we have to help, have to help them. Uh, tier one has no increases to enemy health or damage. So tier two is 25%. So you can kind of think like if it goes up to 11, it's going to be 25% per tier. Um, and it also says additional traps and challenges will appear. So the gimmick for this dungeon, I don't know if there's more gimmicks as you go higher. We only have access to two and level three is gated by gear. And we can only level so high and get certain gear so high. I did find, this is a little off topic. I did find out that you could keep leveling in these delves and you'll level past the cap that they told you that you're capped at. So if that is still unlocked, I might try and see if we can get higher gear and see if we can do a tier three this week. But, you know, that'll be a test for later. But yeah, so there's explosive spores. This is the negative air quote affix. And I know a lot of people don't like negative affixes when it comes to Mythic Plus and stuff. So we're kind of see how this scales into higher tiers but if you don't like that please leave feedback and i will get that feedback to devs as well because i don't personally like negative affixes i'd rather i'd rather us have more positive negative you know kiss curse uh, type affixes i think they're more fun but you get experience and also a chest of expeditionary spoils which have reagents equipment recipes transmog etc so uh, something I keep forgetting to mention, this is seamless. So you see that I go up to this fog wall, like it's Dark Souls, I right click on it, and then I say zone in. And you, I could run back there and I just seamlessly go back to the other zone. Now, I say seamless, but my mind with how I've seen past expansion launches is the first time anyone walks up to a delve, there are probably going to be issues. But when it's going to work, I think it works pretty well. It's very, very nice. So I like a lot of this technology where you're like, there's no zone lines. Like when you're going to Zarlet Cavern, you know, you just, it loads as you're going through the tunnel, as you're flying through, um, you know, situations like this with the seamless transition into the zone as well. So let me hit the plus on our objectives here. Speak to Binston. And for those that do not know, also we have here Bran Bronzebeard. He is going to be your companion for season one. And you can have him as a damage dealer or a healer. I have him set as a damage dealer because Rhett has plenty of healing. And the current tier two enemies really don't hit hard enough to make me feel scared. And he does level up. I do not know what the max level is, but here are some of his abilities. Uh, it looks like his max level might, I don't know. I think he can scale past this to like level 10 maybe, but uh, level eight by skill level. We'll find out about that eventually at some point. Let me talk to Benston here. I need your help. We've been trying to scout for new sources of ore. My friends and I overrun by Fungarians. Don't worry, I'll dive into this cavern. So we dive into the cavern, jump down the hole. And funny thing, I actually, so normally they block when you jump down these holes so you don't get caught on these lips of terrain. But out of like the 10 or 12 times that I did this, I actually got caught on this lip right here and I died. So I left them feedback on that. If you see that at launch, if anybody, remember this, if anyone dies jumping on that, I did report it, so <laughs> it was reported. We'll, we'll see if that gets fixed. So we killed some of these fungus mushrooms. Also, I will just say this, this is a little just like about the graphical models on the enemies. I do love the design of the mushroom dudes. I think they're pretty cool. And you may have seen me, so I just got ore thrown at me. He will do professions for you and find little places. Uh, there's He's basically, AI, NPC follower, doing whatever. And if you see his ore, he will mine it. You can also mine the ore and get it yourself if you have that profession, that gathering profession. So you actually double dip. 
but we also got fish so he fished for me i got this rainbow fish so that's pretty neat too so like you know if i don't like fishing maybe you'll get reagents over time um you may see glowing glowing things on the ground they are usually treasures so this is similar you know everybody's calling this torgas 2.0 i feel like that remains to be seen and this isn't necessarily required for gearing or you know raising your uh borrowed power system or whatever like shadowlands was so i don't really see it as a true torgas 2.0 i see it as like solo content that takes some of past systems and adds it together but um, it remains to be seen. We, we just have to be able to test the higher tiers at some point, and that'll probably be later on the alpha. But I get uh, increased size damage off that. Pretty neat. And this is randomly generated to an extent. So, like, this rare mob here may not always be here. That keeps you on your toes a little bit. Oh, also, I got this new move. I'm playing as Templar. Look at that hammer slam, dude. 267,000 damage. Off of that big old slam. Your wake of ashes turns into another ability. It costs five holy power. But yeah, Rhett, Rhett kind of cranks right now. But it does feel different when I have this uh, five cost holy power ability out of nowhere that I'm not used to dealing with. All right, so I save another dwarf. And I'm taking it a little slow, just to kind of show it off a little bit. I'm not rushing through it so you guys can see it as we run through the delve. Sometimes I have to catch myself. I keep calling them dungeons, even though they're they're not dungeons. They're delves. Delve. And uh, got some lashers. Got more. Let's just pull as many as we can here. Pull all these guys. I have my CDs. I pop my wake of ashes. This guy walks up. I hit him with a big hammer. <laughs> they're all dead so yeah it's a it's a mix of gear right now plus you know i don't think things are actually tuned at all this early in the alpha they just make sure the models are up and things are functioning Look around. There's treasure here. okay is so he talking about treasure i don't know what actually is something i can pick up so he runs over here for example now he's falling asleep I don't know what that's about. <laughs> uh, I've heard that sometimes he leans against walls and stuff if he AFK. And he's kind of like, are you going to keep going somewhere? Are you going to do something? But this meeting stone here, what I was trying to get at is a respawn point. Uh, there, I think he was talking about this treasure chest up here. You have some mushrooms you can jump on. Got these rod casters and re revivers. That's the trap. Pretty easily dealt with. And I will say this, some of the powers that we do unlock from this, I'm not a huge fan of. Like lightning bottle feels very meh. You know, I get a lightning bottle for a minute that deals damage around me. Like, okay, cool, whatever. You know, I'm not always fighting, so it incentivizes me to speed run the dungeon. So I actually make use of the ability. I like some of the other ones where like it gives me a double jump and it also heals me when I double jump. I think that stuff's a lot more fun instead of some of these timed ones. Maybe they could incorporate, and, but this would cost a lot of design time. To be fair, maybe they could incorporate like specific glass or spec specific powers. Like Rhett gets something that makes your hammer throw like 50 hammers at all the enemies near you or like when you avenging wrath lasers shoot off of your body like <laughs> i think that would be cooler you know that'd be a really crazy power fantasy but maybe that would also be kind of a problem when it comes to balancing things so yeah you see i'm going off mining for me so awesome i got more stuff i'm currently an herbalist i don't think most of the professions are in i'll have to double check there may have been a few new things in this build. So, for example, I actually see Renown now. I didn't see this on early access testing. I may have missed it, but, you know, this is the Renown track for the Council of Dornogal. There's a few things in there, and I might release a video talking about that. Yeah, we save another dwarf. Got to go up here. And this is kind of fun. You can jump on that and it boosts you forward, but... You know, being able to divine charger whenever it's really not needed. Moldy miner. I really have to get used to. Uh, so like, I got five 
You know, I use what I hmm, I'm trying to think like what the best ordering would be. So I can judgment blade of justice. You know, I could get to four however way I need to get to four. You know, pop my offensive CDs. Use my stuff. Judgment again. And then Wake of Ashes. I'm at five. And then I use my big Wake of Ashes ability. I, I don't know. I kind of have to think about it. Like, we're, we're, we're looking at optimization on this stuff. And also, my brain is programmed right now to... Um, wow, this guy just got juiced. What the... Oh, my God. Yeah, so, like, I, I didn't even use my... Well, I guess maybe I reset because I just finished. I thought I used my CDs. No, they didn't get reset. So maybe maybe my things didn't go through. I'm, I'm crazy. But yeah, then you go, go in here and you get your rewards. And there could be transmog or other items in there. I've never unlocked a blue or purple. It requires a delve key. And those are on a renowned vendor and also rewards on this renowned track. So I'm not sure what the best way to get these epic keys are. We'll probably find out later in testing. But yeah, I have no idea what could be in there. Maybe there's like mounts for all we know. It's similar to the seeds in the Emerald Dream uh, event where, you know, the purple seed gives you a chance at a mount drop and stuff like that for all we know. But yeah, that's basically it. So that was the Fungal Folly Delve. Now, this was done live on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash bighero60. If you are interested in watching live streaming or anything like that, you know, please stop by. You know, I'm very... Uh, I have pretty good communication with my community. And, like, I like to talk to everybody. Or, you know, if you're a lurker, you can lurk and just hang out and, you know, see somebody play Alpha for the next eight weeks and go into beta and things like that. So, you know, if you want to... Come on by. And yeah, I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day and thank you so much.